How to find your life purpose? This is a question which is important for many people and it's the question I will be answering in this video. My name is Denisa and since 2002 I work as a teacher in the area of relating, intimacy and a fulfilled life. Over the years many people have been asking me how do I find my life purpose? Like, how do I find the something which will fulfill me for life when I do it? And each of us has to find their own answer. Like, what is it? What is the thing, this something which I'm supposed to do in this life? And I truly believe there is something for every one of us and we are suffering if we are not doing it, <laughs> maybe you are supposed to grow flowers and you are sitting in an office. And of course, your body and your soul are sad because you are not doing what you are supposed to do. Maybe you have a lonely work, but your passion is to be with people and to communicate. Of course, you are suffering. And if you are suffering in any area of your work, you should change it. Because at work, you are spending majority of your life. And it's really important for each of us to feel that we have a meaningful life. If you are doing eight or more hours a day, something which has no specific meaning for you, you are suffering. So let's change it. I will not obviously tell you what is your purpose, but I will give you some keys how you can find it. First of all, we can say there is a feminine and masculine way of finding your purpose. The masculine way is often bound with sitting with solitude, contemplating on your life and waiting for some ideas and impulses which come to you. Yes, something that will take you off and then you go to the world with this something you want to give to the world. The feminine way, in my experience, is different. It's not so much bound to sitting in solitude, it's rather in being in life, being in activity, living your life and while you live your life you feel how it is and when you are living your purpose you feel like your energy grows, you are more open, you are more vital, your energy goes up literally. You are opening and you are expanding and you are joyful. Even if there may be situations which are a challenge you need to overcome, there is this ever-present joy underneath. And you just know you are doing the right thing. You feel it in your body. As a woman, you should definitely be listening to your body so you learn if what you are living right now is your thing or not. If you are suffering for long of lack of energy, you are sad, you are depressed, you are tense, you have to change something. This is not the way you want to spend the rest of your life. And you need to observe, like, what does soften my body? How can I be more joyful? And you are observing which situations, which activities and which people support you being more soft, full and joyful and loving. And this is how you choose on a daily basis. Some people are asking me how do I discover my gifts? Well, usually this is something your friends may be asking from you. Maybe they are asking your advice in some specific area. 
it's quite likely that this is your gift and they know it and this is why they ask. So you can explore more in that area. Also, it's good to look for signs where you are in total flow, like the time passes by and you don't know even how, right? You are so much absorbed in what you are doing that you feel you are in a timeless space. This is also a good sign. And last but not the least, if you are working with your purpose, you would keep doing your work no matter what. You would keep doing it even if they wouldn't pay you. Right? So you can ask yourself this question straight away. Would I keep working? Would I keep doing what I'm doing at my work if there is no salary, if there is no payment? And if your answer is no, I think it's a good sign to start searching what else could I be doing in my life? Where can I use my gifts for other people? Because when you are giving your gifts, you don't ask anything in return. It doesn't mean that you live like a saint, you could, but you would be willing to give your gifts even if there is no payment coming back. And you would still feel very joyful. I hope this video was inspiration for you and you may look around. There is more videos on this page. There is more articles on my website. You can subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. And I also offer many live trainings. Maybe someday we will meet in person. I will be very happy to.